guess who's back? You're waiting for me to say the next line of that song, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm heading up Hollywood Boulevard to that blanky sign up ahead. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. That ride opened this week. I was not here for the opening. And yesterday, I chose to go see Tigers and Yankee Baseball over coming to this ride. But now, we're here. Galaxy's Edge. Train ride. Jeez Louise. 90 minutes. Okay. Oh, how exciting. Yes, don't stop and take pictures. Somehow this line makes sense. It's kind of like kicks or Tron light cycles where you just run out of room and we've hit a wall. Beginning at 8 a.m. Guests hoping to confront the First Order in Star Wars Rise of the Resistance may join our virtual queue through the My Disney Experience app. So the ride has opened 15 minutes before park open to a 165 minute wait. They moved the themed looking fans from Galaxy's Edge out to the extended queue for the Mickey ride. So 8.42 a.m. I'm almost to the entrance. Runaway railway. I've got 30 minutes before my window closes for Rise of the Resistance. Oh, we're inside. It's been a minute. Mickey and Minnie and Wish Upon a Coin. I'm pretty happy to see the inside of this building again. Mickey Mouse and Potato Land. There are none of the displays that were formerly here with like all of the movie props and dresses and stuff. Mickey Mouse in Yodelberg. Yodelberg. Getting closer to the entrance. I think it's right around this corner. We're coming in. Step though, guys. <laughs> cool. We're going in. Ah, very cool. Ladies and gentlemen, 
nothing was gonna go wrong. Oh, you know. Scan your bed is huge, and they got the extended queue working too. So I got here three minutes beyond my boarding group time, and they did let me in. Although they gave me this stink eye. So the offshoot of calling more groups and getting more groups called during the day is more general queue being used. We've made it in. Blinding yellow light. Space Ranch. The battle plans. Just follow that line. Space transmission. Stuff. That thing looks like a magic band scanner. All the coaxium I've captured. DH-17 Rebel Blasters. Stuff. So many helmets, but look at this. This one has how many TIE fighters have been taken down. More stuff. Getting you to Vakara. Red 2, Blue 5, keep tight now. Let's get ready to make that jump to light speed on my mark. BB 8, what do you got? There appear to be a number of small craft heading our way. Raise the shields. Where are all those TIE fighters coming from? Star destroyers. Lieutenant Beck is just speechless. Oh man. That's enough out of you. Goodbye, Anovo's room. Look, these guys just standing around. You're walking all the way into the back of the cell. Coronavirus. Oh, the light came on when I turned that. You chose the wrong side, and now you will pay. The resistance prisoners. You have what I want. You know the location of the secret base, and I will take it from you. Tell them it's a prisoner transfer. <laughs> Did it work? Good. Now get a move on. There's a clear path to the turbo lifts at the end of the hallway. Turn right. <laughs> a probe droid. You're lucky it didn't spot you. Hey, you're not authorized. Wait, go to the prison. You're breaking it. Sit down! 
up your good. Try to find another way down to the escape ports. The resistance will attempt to rescue the prisoners. They have neither the resources nor the courage to engage us. You underestimate their conviction. Raise the shields! Shields? I see no evidence. Now! Down the alarm! All personnel to their station! Sir, the prisoners have escaped. How brave. But ultimately hopeless. There's nowhere to run. shell of that R2 is kind of like a barbecue grill I guess or a heated charcoal grill and there's like remnants of the charcoal on the floor. Details. Millennium Falcon. 90 minutes standby. Let's see what single rider is all about. Single rider was backed all the way up so I'm gonna meander. So many people today and they all just keep stopping. Oh boy. Heading out of Galaxy's Edge, back towards the rest of the park. I was actually a little hungry, so I made a stop at the Sci-Fi Dine-In Theater. It's been a while. This is awesome. Since there's not a lot of people here, not a lot of noise. I love the cheese factor. You can check out everything without staring at anybody. So before we go any further, the new ride is so much fun. I know there's a lot of debate about is it better than Great Movie Ride, the sentimentality of Great Movie Ride, totally not the same ride, and honestly, just a lot of fun. I love dark rides, I've never just been on a lot of roller coasters, so I'm very anxious for her to come back and check that ride out. I think it's right up people's alleys if they're looking for a fun dark ride, not a thrill ride. And the visuals, awesome. I got there in outer space. Look out for the rock people. Oh, oh my goodness. I did get the classic cheeseburger, so it's bacon, onions, lettuce, tomato, fries. Such a cool place to eat in. The Scream Dracula Show. Heading back out to this very busy park. 45 minutes for Star Tours. Other side. Duck. Catch the head. Excellent. Save it now. Yep. Other side. Duck. Catch the head. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, there's a new film where the Star Wars stuff used to play. Mickey and Minnie's Vacation Fun. Oh, look at the seats. That's fun. That was awesome. They've got really cool photo ops from the movie. When you leave the movie. I can't hardly believe it's the potato. By the way, if it seems like it's no-brainer type stuff, like, oh, you should have known there's a movie there. 
I've stayed away from all spoilers when it comes to theme park stuff. I don't tend to watch other people's vlogs until I've done things myself as well. I want to be able to enjoy things when I get to them. So, I thought about getting back on Mickey and Minnie's, but the wait time is two hours. And I don't want to do two hours in line. Let's see what's going on in Launch Bay. Oh, long wait times. Star Wars stuff. The truth is, this guy used to be a regular stormtrooper, but he spent one day in the Orlando sun, and this is what happens. You sunblock kids. They've got all kinds of jewelry now for Leia, like her cosplaying. So we've got her ring, her cuff, her necklace, Jin's Force Crystal necklace, the Resistance ring, or the Beacon bracelet. They have merch for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway shirts. This song will be stuck in my head forever. More shirts. Trains that look like the rail car. Wooden whistles that are a buck or less at like a hobby store. $13 here. More shirts. Mugs. More shirts. This is like the best shirt out of all of them, I think. For women. Sweatshirt. Ears. Ornaments. This is pretty awesome. A goofy runaway railway hat. 25 bucks with the ears. I really like that shirt. Damn it. Alright, Hollywood Studios. You had a little too crowded for me, so getting out of here. A couple hours later, back home from Disney, a new ride. A lot more fun than what I had even anticipated it being. I know that there's going to be continued great divide between people. Uh, that were hardcore great movie ride fans, people that grew up with that ride um, at the park and uh, folks that like the new uh, Mickey ride. I'm kind of curious that, uh, you know, the new ride, it's a new Disney uh, Mickey animation style. Um, wondering like if maybe they'll eventually add like a character meet and greet with um, the new um, updated Mickey style as well. Just curious if, uh, you know, I don't know if there's a lot of people that are overly fanatic about the way that Mickey looks these days, but in any event, Rye was awesome. So now, uh, in a matter of a year, we got uh, the Smuggler's Run, you got Rise of the Resistance, and now you have the Runaway Railway. So two, uh, three rather, awesome rides. Um, you know, Smuggler's Run, probably the bottom of those three on the list as far as awesomeness, but um, Three new rides um, at a park where people had been feeling like it was a half-day park, in addition to the Toy Story stuff that came, um, you know, just before this. So a lot of stuff to do at Hollywood Studios is really kind of getting that Disney California Adventure type vibe. So I'm digging it. I'm digging this sweater too. I ended up picking this up on clearance at the Disney store for 27 bucks. So you could literally buy like 68 of these sweaters instead of the super expensive Gucci version that's out there, but. I'm digging it. Now we just need it to actually get uh, cold again. Got a massive sunburn here when I went out to Yankee game yesterday. And uh, we are heading over to the Mets for the next couple of days. So I'll get more baseball videos out there. Thank you very much for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys.